Right now with Chris Fisher. Uh, Chris is the Managing Director of Smart Will. Good afternoon, Chris. How are you? Hi, Mick. Yeah, good, thanks. Great. Good man. Uh, just kick off, Chris, and tell us a bit about Smart Will then. Right, yeah. Uh, Smart Will is the UK's only will writing app available on iOS and Android. Um, we assist users with a basic will they can uh, prepare from home quickly and affordable, um, uh, quickly uh, at a great price. Um, we also offer services that assist people uh, going through probate. Uh, we have an estate agency specializing in uh, probate sales. It's a completely free service. We achieve full market value. Uh, properties are listed on all the major portals like Rightmove, Zoopla, Prime Location, on the market, full full market exposure. Um, we charge the buyer a small fee and the uh, seller doesn't pay any fees at all. Um, we are looking um, at starting um, offering probate services to counterbalance these costs when somebody passes away. Uh, it, this is all within the app. Uh, it's completely unique, uh, developed it all uh, on my own practically. Uh, obviously, we have developers uh, and had funding in the past, but it, it's practically my brainchild. Brilliant. I hope you got the IP yeah. protection on that then. Yeah, there's, uh, there's some on the trademark, but I mean, uh, it's an app. It's uh, <laughs> quite expensive to kind of uh, trademark that. <laughs> So, uh, so who's um, who's taking up that uh, that service, that opportunity to to um, download the app? What, yeah, what so, sort of people are you targeting? Yeah, it's open to anyone over eighteen uh, in England and Wales. Um, the estate agency again, and it, it is open to not just app users. You can find us online. Um, we're used by some market leading solicitors to help their own clients with with the free property sales service because it, it can counterbalance probate costs. Um, so basically, yeah, we're, we're open to the, the entire um, UK popular uh, England and the population of England and Wales, anyone over 18 that needs a will, needs to sell a property, whether in probate or a private sale we can assist with both but we do primarily um uh, <laughs> specialize in, in in probate or vacant properties we offer uh, insurance as well we're actually uh, appointed representatives and we can insure unoccupied uh properties as well which is also uh, quite useful for uh, probate sales or um for helping solicitors or probate professionals mm. So um, for anyone that's looking to uh, get a will or um, has a, a need to get involved in probate, what would you say differentiates your option versus other options out there? Well, we are an app. Um, you can carry the app with you at any time. Uh, you can make changes to your will at any time. Uh, we send out a copy in the, in the post. Um, we offer free storage um and yeah it, it's a very quick process we've outlined all the major um all, all the major outcomes of anyone looking to protect their uh, estate against the rules of intestacy uh which means dying without a will um so you can appoint executors ben um choose your beneficiaries appoint guardians leave gifts of cash cash to charities um but you can do it all from the app at a touch of a button it, it's a really quick um and, and convenient way of uh preparing a will it's yeah. uh the only one on the on the market in within the app store and we as i've said we have a completely free estate agency specializing in probate sales and we can offer fixed fee probate through our through our partners we're actually right. in the process of building yeah we're in the process of building a uh, a diy probate guide so you can actually administer the estate yourself sell the property through mm -hmm. ourselves and save yourselves 
thousands in in legal fees or estate agency fees. Well, both. And uh, yeah, how long have you been in business, Chris? With this app? Uh, since 2019. Right. Okay. So, what does the yeah. future look like? What are the challenges ahead for you? Yeah, uh, I mean, we're looking to to scale the business, uh, find uh, investors that are or have experience in in in, in legal and, and property, uh, and help us kind of scale the business from their own experiences and their contacts. Um, I, I mean, it, it all works. We've 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 proven that the um that the, the the will writing app is and can be very profitable we know that the property sales um service is is, is profitable and our customers love it. It, it it's free we do everything a high street estate agent can but um we just don't charge any fees to the to the to the seller so when it when we've got an estate and there's two or three beneficiaries there's no argument of who or which estate agent they're going to use because the, the, there is no fees to them. Uh, so so it, it works really well on, on, on that front. But yeah, it, it is just now a um, about scaling the business and finding the right people that can help us do that. Hmm. So Chris, in the four years or so that you've been in business, I guess you've had highs and lows during that time. What have you learned? about yourself and what have you learned about the business during that time? Yeah, I mean, the pandemic, when people were furloughing, we, well, I, I, I set a business up and uh, it thrived. <laughs> um, I, I didn't have a day off. Uh, the only times I did um, anything different to my day to day was learning how to uh, develop marketing strategies, campaigns, which they've kept the business, uh, they've kept the business going without any investment or, or, or any outside help. We do have um, relationships with, with professionals, which is, is always helpful, but we have learned our own marketing strategies that are, um, that are proven. And uh, yeah, that was a benefit from the, uh, the pandemic. I did have time to, um, kick back and, and, and learn some marketing uh, strategies on, on multiple platforms. And if you could turn the clock back, what might you do differently? Hmm. Uh, approach people differently um, or, or different people, should I, should I say. Um, if I did or could turn the clock back, I would know who to, to, to work with other than <laughs> maybe more than others. <laughs> um, and and it, it could have took the business uh, further a lot quicker without any hurdles or, or, um, or, or any legalities tied to it. But yeah, there's, uh, there's a few things I would do a little bit differently. But uh, yeah, apart from um, working with or, or not with certain people, um, that's probably only it, to be honest. Okay, brilliant. Chris, thank you very much. And I wish you every success in uh, developing that business going forward. Brilliant. Thank you, very thank much. you Mick, and thanks for the, uh, for the time. Cheers. Nice one. Thank you.